I called somebody. Oh, wow. Wow. Selma. Blake. Blake Lively. Wow. Blake Lively. Blake is, that is a very good choice, by the way. <laughs> Blake has this unique ability to like see danger from blocks and blocks away at a time. Truly, like she's like a secret service agent, but without the, you know, steel gray suit. Um, I would take, um, I'd probably take, actually, I would actually take Salma. I know that's a, sort of a boring and on point answer, but I would take Salma as my bodyguard. It's like, there's, you know, maybe she's afraid on the inside, but on the outside, there is absolutely nothing about her that seems afraid. So you kind of want somebody that is the way my character describes her, un unusually aggressive and violent um, in any sort of hairy situation. I'll take Salma. I did one in Spain that I shocked myself. I, I called somebody putrefied wrinkled penis in Spanish. Oh, wow. Wow, Selma. I don't know, it just, I was possessed by Sonia and it just came out of her mouth. But you gave me some really good ones I cannot even remember. He gave me a lot. His insults are very intellectual, uh, Ryan. Come up with, he comes up with like, actually he trained me for the one in Spanish because he doesn't just say the F word. He comes up with like some strange figuration of idea association that is funny and insulting at the same time and he, he gave me a lot of good lines. It's a, it's a unique and uh, useless gift I have. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, my favorite insult was probably um, calling someone a, you know, you dog f***ing, knuckle dragging f smoker. Oh yeah, there was something like that. I don't know if that's actually in the movie or if I just made that up now, but um, yeah. It was pretty damn fun, I gotta say. You know, oftentimes you hear actors talk about movies when they're shooting movies. Oh, it wasn't what you think. It wasn't as fun. It was challenging and grueling. And honestly, we just spent the entire time laughing our asses off. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you. We had a really, really fun time. Not without its significant challenges in moments, but it was um, working with these two, working with Salma, which is a, a person who's very hard to keep a straight face around when she's when you're working with her. Uh, and Sam, of course, both of these people I've known for a long, long, long time. It's just like a, it feels like a high school reunion in the best sense, without all the shame and drinking and misery. Loving, um, intelligent, let's, let's say brilliant, and uh, deep. He's very deep, He's, he cares. Magic, Selma, Selma is magic. She is, and by magic, I know that's a large umbrella of everything. I mean, that's genius, that's wise, that's skilled, that's all those things. And she's maternal. And she's also like, you know, maternal, like with me and Sam, <laughs> like, like, and also just incredibly, incredibly charming. I mean, there is, there is, you, you see that when she walks on a set, how every single crew member, their eyes are fixated on Salma when she walks on the set because she's just like, there is nobody like her. She's so kind of gregarious and obviously very charming and very funny, but everything she says is completely unexpected. Like everything she says, she just like gives zero f**ks and it's such a refreshing and wonderful thing. Hey, I had, I had more wars, huh? She said three, I had plenty. And I was disciplined, which actually is one of his words, discipline. That's not my word, but he's, he's very disciplined. Very impressed.